Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and um, of course, we're going to talk about more connectors. And yes, I did do a little uh, uh, blooper on the previous video uh, with the wrong channel, Windows Computers and Technology, I gave it the name. So, uh, just funny. Um, I kept it like that. I thought, yeah, you guys are going to have a, a good laugh. So, um, now we're going to talk about another connector that's extremely popular, and it's the BNC connector. I am looking here at the ATS25 because as a very recent example of what device has a BNC connector, uh, the ATS25 is an example. It comes with a BNC connector. Uh, another device that has a BNC connector in the back, the um, SDR Play RSPDX, for example, as a BNC connector among the SMA connectors. And of course, this was one of the most popular connectors for desktop and portable scanner radios back in the day. BNC connectors and BNC antenna connectors were extremely popular. Uh, today, because of the smaller form factor, a lot of them are moving on to smaller connectors like the SMA connector but uh, the BNC connector is still very popular. One of the reasons on many devices it's still popular, um, a little bit like the PL259 that we talked about in the previous video, it is quite sturdy and solid, so it could withstand you know, abuse. So you have this one, which is the uh, BNC female, so it has a little hole. Uh, think of female and male as being what nature is all about, female, a um, little hole, and um, male with a little pin sticking out. Use your imagination. Um, so basically, uh, this is the female part, and if you want to connect to this, you have a connector that is the male part. The male part you see has grooves because the connector, when you uh, will enter it, you'll have to twist it there are two pins on the female part that actually go into the grooves on each side. And of course, this being the male connector, it has the center pin for the connection of the antenna. So uh, BNC is male to female, as simple as that. And it can be used, of course, on many devices. Like I said, some of the um, another radio that has it is the uh, Texan S2000, a.k.a. the uh, Ethan Elite 750, a.k.a. the Grundig 750. Uh, it does have a BNC connector for uh, antennas on the side. So uh, this is another example of BNC connections being used. So BNC, male and female, very popular also. Uh, mainly used in scanner radios and VHF, UHF but also seen on some a few shortwave devices that we have. Uh, typically, uh, the uh, imp impedance of radios that have a BNC connector often is 75 ohms. It's a little different. Uh, SO239 and PL259 have 50 ohms, uh, nominal in general, uh, in there. That's the way the radios are designed. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.